Now you can keep in touch with your contacts through targeted emails. Here's how to create your first e-marketing campaign in Act 365. First, let's look at designing the campaign in the e-marketing section. From here, we'll click Template Manager. This shows a list of available e-marketing campaign templates. You can customize one of your stock templates by adding your logo and contact details to make it your own. I'm going to choose the Product Display Template, and I'll click the Add to My Templates button. This will allow me to copy that stock template to my own templates. First, we need to select a category, or we can create a new category by typing it in the list. I'm going to create a new category called Product Promotions. And then we need to give this new template a name. Maybe we'll call it Furniture Sale. And then click the Copy button. Now we can edit the design of this template to make it perfect. Let's start with the text. On the right side of your screen is this pencil icon. When you click that button, you enter Text Edit Mode. Now you can select any text and make edits to what the text says. While selecting the text, you have the options to change the formatting, alignments, sizes, colors, and fonts. You can even add web links or email links to any of this text. Once you've finished editing all your text, click the Return to Layout Mode button. Now we can edit the layout of this campaign. We'll use these four tabs at the top to edit our layouts. I'll begin with the Styles tab. You can drag a template color to any area of the template and drop it on an area that you want to edit. Then decide if you're changing the background, the font, or the border color. And once you've decided that, you've got to choose whether you're going to change the current block, the current row, or the entire template. So if I drag that green color and apply it to the background color of the entire template, notice the change that's made. If at any time you don't like what you've done, you can always click this undo button to revert back to where it was before. Now I'm going to add that same green color to the current row instead. You can also add a border style and a border weight and even change the border color all within the same block. Experiment with these styles, including the padding, the fonts, and the font sizes to get the look that you want. The Layout tab lets you add additional rows and individual blocks to the design. I'm going to add a three column text block towards the end of my email template. It's that easy. Back at the top, maybe I want to change this image logo. That's easy to do. We'll go to the Images tab and I'll upload a logo from my computer. I'm going to upload it to this Logos category and I'll browse to the logos on my computer and then click the close button. Once that logo now appears in my list, I can drag it to the block on my template editor. To edit this image, simply hover over it and choose the edit button. This opens the photo editor. Here I have lots of options for editing my photos and images. This saves me a lot of time because now I don't have to use an external photo editing program to do any of this. Take some time to experiment with the different options you have here. Between effects, frames, resizing, orientation, drawing, text, and more. Finally, if you have any files, such as a PDF for a brochure or a menu, you can add those to your template as well. Once you're all finished designing your template, click the Save button, and then click the Exit button to leave. Once again, clicking Save and Exit. Your template should now appear in the category that you created. To see how it will look, click the Preview button to get a sense for how it will appear in a desktop computer or mobile phone view. You can send a test email to yourself just to make sure that it looks good before you send it out to your contacts. And so the next step will be to send this campaign. If you have any questions, go to the help area and click on Success Center. <laughs>